Hello, and welcome back to the story. Today we will be making a recap on a 2011 movie titled Hall Pass. The story begins with a father named Rick, showing his old photos to his two kids. His wife, Maggie, is busy carrying their baby and their laundry. Rick tells her to hurry up because they will be meeting their friends at an awarding ceremony. He then carries his children for bath time. Later that day, when on their way to the event to meet their friends, Maggie notices his husband looking at another lady's back and tells him he is rude. Rick tries to deny it. Rick's best friend, Fred, is with his wife Grace. They are waiting outside for them. The wives meet with their friend Lucy, who is receiving an award at the event. While the guys went on to grab some beer, a lady comes near them to get wine and they say hi. Meanwhile, their wives saw them checking out on her. Grace and Maggie talks about how their husbands always checks out other women in front of them. When they arrive home, Rick promises his wife a good sex after he rides their babysitter home. Their babysitter, Paige, opens the door, and they see that their kid is still wide awake. Fred rides the babysitter home and when they arrive, the babysitter asks him if he can buy her some beer. He hesitates, thinking that it is illegal for her to drink alcohol. She promises him no one's going to find out. He is about to say yes, until he realizes the consequences if they would be caught. He then tells her to get out. The babysitter asks why, and he tells her it is inappropriate for him to have a beer with her alone. She then answers that they would not be alone and tells him he is disgusting for thinking she's going to hook up with him. Rick arrives home. When he and his wife are about to go the room to make Whoopi, they see their daughter sitting on their bed saying she could not sleep and asks Rick to read her a story. When he's done reading her story, Rick hurriedly goes to their room but then sees his wife fully asleep. But in reality, she is just pretending to. The next day at the playground, Rick meets Fred. They both watch at the sexy ladies playing frisbees. The two talks about how unhappy their life is. Fred says that he is just playing with himself in the car. Later, Rick and Fred go to a coffee shop. They see a beautiful young barista and they both watch her back. She takes their orders, and they are almost speechless. They continue watching her until Ed interrupts them. He invites them both to the housewarming party he will be having next weekend. They tried to refuse but Ed tells them that their wives already confirmed their attendance. Rick and his friends have a game night at his house. Maggie arrives and Rick tells her that he has put the kids to sleep. He shows the baby monitor he is holding. When she goes upstairs to check on their baby, Maggie finds out that Rick left the wrong baby monitor. As she is trying to put the baby to sleep, she overhears one of Rick's friends asking them how much they would spend for an erotic weekend with hot girls. Fred answers six grand while the other says 7,500. Rick hesitates to answer at first saying he has a great wife and he wouldn't want to hurt her feelings to which Maggie smiles. But then Rick jokes that of course he would sell anything, even his house. His friends burst into laughter and his wife is disappointed. The next morning, the ladies are taking a walk and talking about what happened last night. They are mad about what Maggie heard and talk about their husband's obsession with other ladies. Lucy suggests that they should consider giving their husbands a hall pass or a week off from marriage where they can do anything they want without consequences. Lucy explains that their husband's obsession with looking at other ladies may stop if they are allowed to cheat one time. Grace tells Lucy that she should try it with her own husband and tell them how it would turn out. To which Lucy answers that she already did, and their marriage has been better than ever. That weekend, the two couples arrive at Ed's housewarming party. Ed brags about his luxurious house and he tours the visitors all around his house. Rick and Fred are left behind from the tour. Ed takes the guests to a security room where they can monitor the whole house. The monitor shows Fred and Rick talking in one room, and everybody can hear them as they make fun of Ed and his family. They are making jokes about Ed and his wife's sexual tendencies. They were kicked out of the house. On their way home, Fred and Rick's wife are looking disappointed and angry. They stopped the car and scolded both of them for being too obsessed of sex. At their house, Maggie is so upset with Rick's obsession of looking at other women. She finally decides to give him the hall pass so he can get his obsession out of his system. Maggie tells Rick that she will be taking their kids to her parents' house and will be back after a week. Next day, 
Rick tells Fred about the hall pass. Rick is hesitant about the hall pass saying it seems not right. Fred encourages him to go on with it and use the hall pass. Fred then later talks to his wife about Rick's hall pass and indirectly asks for one too using reverse psychology. Grace then tells him to cut the act as she will not fall for it, and he will not be getting the hall pass. Fred then makes the excuse of taking out the trash so he can go play with himself again in his car. Two police officers catch him on act, and they laugh. They later arrest him and hand him to his wife. Grace yells at him inside and finally gives him the hall pass. Next morning, Fred and Rick started to plan on how they are going to use their hall passes. They decided to stay at a hotel to avoid problems. Their friends will be coming with them to watch. On the first night, the group first go on for a dinner before going to the bar and nail some women. The night just goes to waste because they get so exhausted after eating too much. On the second day, Rick and his friends are playing golf at the resort. Gary brings cookies and manages to convince his friends to take them. An hour and few minutes later, they get so high and mess up the golf course. They are chased by the marshal because one of their friends took a dump on the golf course. On day three of the hall pass week, we see Maggie and Grace watching a baseball game. After the game, they are approached by a handsome baseball player named Jerry who seems to like Grace. Maggie's dad later arrives with the baseball coach, also named Rick, and introduces him to them. Rick then invites them to a pool party later that day and Maggie is hesitant, but Grace accepts the invitation. Maggie reminds her that they are married but Grace also reminds her that the men are on a week off their marriage. She added that they should have fun like the men are probably having too. Meanwhile, the men are talking while having a dinner. Their friends got bored and wants to call it a day. Rick wants to give up and just call their wife to come home but Fred wants to push through. They go to a club but fail to pick up any ladies with their ridiculous pickup lines. So, they decide to get drunk to boost their confidence. They end up too drunk that they wind up getting into a fight. We can see that Grace is having a chat with the baseball coach at the pool party and they are starting to get along. Rick and Fred spend the whole day four sleeping at the hotel suffering from hangover. On day five, Maggie and Grace are enjoying the time of their lives. They drink beer and play volleyball with the men at the beach. Meanwhile, Rick goes to a local coffee shop where he flirts with the beautiful barista named Lee. Her coworker Brent insults Rick and he answers back. Lee hears him and seems impressed. Lee later invites Rick to go to the gym she goes to so they can grab a drink after workout. On the other hand, Fred goes on a massage parlor and runs into Ed's wife and daughter. He gets embarrassed when they find out that he is there for more than just the massage so he hurriedly goes out. Rick then meets Lee at the gym. He asks her to grab a beer after the workout and Lee tells him to meet her an hour sharp. Rick then goes to the sauna. He overslept and missed the date with Lee. Day 6 arrives and Rick and Fred seem to be giving up until they receive a call from their friend named Coakley. The two got excited because they know Coakley can help them finally get laid. Coakley brings them to the bar, and they are so impressed at how good Coakley is at reading women. Rick later runs into Paige, their babysitter, who went to the club with her aunt. Paige confesses that she was really trying to hit on him and this time, Rick turns her down again. Coakley pushes Fred to hit a chic across them. Rick is left alone until he sees Lee dancing and approaches her, and they dance together. He tells her about his hall pass. Brent, her co-worker, is the DJ and is mad looking at them. Meanwhile, Grace goes to Jerry to return his gift to her saying she can't accept that since she is married. Jerry confesses to Grace how much he likes her and Grace answers she likes him too. The tension gets strong between them until they can no longer stop it and do it. Fred on the other hand, takes the girl to his room but she got sick and has incident in the bathroom. Fred gets her into a taxi to take her home. When Fred goes back to the room, Paige's aunt knocks and mistaken Fred as Rick. Grace feels guilty after what happened to her and Jerry and she tells him that she really loves her husband and what they did would just be one time to which Jerry agrees. Before leaving, Jerry tells her she is awesome in bed and they high-five. We can see then Grace driving back crying and looking at Fred's photo on her phone. On the other hand, Fred is having a drink with Paige's aunt, and he carry on pretending to be Rick. 
Paige's aunt is impressed with Rick because he did not take advantage of Paige even if she tries to hit on him twice. She starts to seduce him. Back in Coakley's house, Lee enters the room where Rick is. Lee then seduces Rick and wants to help him with his hall pass but then he turns her down saying he can no longer do it. He tells how happy he is now with his life as a husband and a father. Lee tells him that he is a good guy. Rick is about to head back home when he receives a call from a police officer asking for Fred. He rushes back to the hotel and Brent, who is nearby, follows him. At the hotel, Paige confronts Rick and tells him about the baseball coach and that his wife is unfaithful to him. Rick goes into the room and interrupts Fred who is just faking an oral s*** with Paige's aunt. Rick tells him that Grace was in a car accident and sent to the hospital. When they go outside, they see Brent breaking Fred's car and have spray-painted it. Paige and her aunt Meg arrives and they found out that Brent is Meg's son. Realizing that Fred nailed his mom, he takes a gun and shoots after the two. Rick and Fred hurriedly drives away with Brent hanging at the back. Police officers saw them and goes after them. Fred does not want to stop so he tries to outrun them. Brent, who is at the top of their car, breaks their windshield. They finally arrive at the hospital until the police jumps over Fred and Rick and cuffs them. He is shouting that he needs to see if his wife is okay. The doctor tells him that his wife is going to be fine and just had a nose injury. The police later let them go saying that Brent was the one attacking them. Maggie is on her parents' house having a late-night chat with the baseball coach at the couch. They are about to kiss, then Maggie moves back. Rick arrives at the house where Maggie is staying and sees a car outside. Inside, he sees two empty bottles of wine and then hears his wife screaming, Oh my God. He goes in and finds that his wife is just talking with Grace on the phone. Rick then confesses to Maggie that he lost his V-card to her and tells her that he has never slept with any other women aside from her ever since. They hug and kissed. When he asked about the car outside, she tells him it is from the baseball coach and that they have wine last night but assures him nothing more happened. The next day, Fred takes Grace to Maggie's house and she says they need to talk about what happened during the week and Fred tells her that whatever happened does not matter. And they promised never to talk about anything that happened over the week. The movie ends with everyone especially the wives are happy while having a barbecue party. Did you like our movie recap? Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. To be updated for new movie recaps, hit the notification bell.